morning folks we have made it back from Texas and to be honest with you when I was in Texas I didn't feel like vlogging it was so hot and humid there it reminded me of why we left Tennessee um, it was it was pretty nasty those of you who love Texas and those of you who love humidity I'm sorry but it's not my it's not my forte so me and Polly have got to meet up with first generation homestead today uh, we're gonna take them their timeless order uh, it was gonna cost like over $500 to have it shipped out there so we just shipped it to Farmington which was cheaper and then we were gonna be back in Farmington so here we are we're gonna take it down there to them we're gonna meet them up meet with them up in Gallup and right now we're gonna go to a yard sale. So I've gotta get on my phone and, oh, my wife is already on there, she says. Okay, so we are headed to a yard sale. There's some hand tools there, uh, rakes, uh, shovels, that sort of thing, some stuff that we might need. And uh, we call yard sale stores unlimited. So you can get anything there. So we're gonna go take and do that. And then when we get back, we're gonna load up the, the car put all the timeless in there that's one of the cool things about timeless fence is you can you can haul in the back of an SUV back of a truck it's, it's not a real heavy product even all the posts for a whole project so we got to get that done we're gonna head over here we'll see if we can't bring you some of the yard sale hopefully it's a good one and uh, then down the road we go to Gallup All right, folks, went to that yard sale and we got a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm not sure how much this is for us and how much it's for Anna. Got this little bad boy for a dollar, Finland. So got this. This is a nice little hawk bill knife. I really like it. Got another little old deal. Got a lot of parts. We got picked up this little shovel in Texas. Picked up these in Texas. I bought a bunch of knives in Texas. I got to take all this out, and we've got to load this pallet, these posts, and these posts over here into that car. Plus, boo boo, boo boo. Yeah. It's kind of a mess out here. And maybe those boards right there. I don't know. We'll see. So I have got to unload everything so that I can load everything back up. In the past 24 years, me and Polly have moved 48 or 49 times. You'd think I'd be used to packing and unpacking vehicles. I don't know if you ever get used to it or not, but we've got really good at it. We call it practicing the art of conundrums. In layman's terms, I'm putting 10 pounds of something in a five pound sack. That's a nice way of saying it. But over the years, we have packed a lot of stuff in little small areas and this trip's no different and to top it all off we went to a yard sale and bought more stuff today I will have to brag on my wife she only buys the things that we really need or that she really needs but I had a uncle a great uncle Scott Jackson who said a woman can shovel more in the front door of a house with a teaspoon than a man can shovel out the back with a scoop shovel. I don't know. That's what he said. I'm just saying. Thank you. 
Okay, so maybe we weren't loaded. I've got some more stuff in the house. Yeah. Okay, so now we're loaded. This is the passenger side. Boo's gonna have to sit up front with me in the floorboard. That's gonna be fun. Here's the post. I think I've got everything tied so it won't slide out. Got my clothes bag stuffed in there. This is the other side. We could put some more stuff in here. I mean, there's room. But we have to worry about small things falling out the back. I'm tired. We got to go to Gallup. And then we got to unload all this stuff again. Unload the posts onto first generation homesteads trailer. And then on down to our homestead. We've been gone a little over a week week and three days so we gotta get back down there and make sure everything's still batting down let's go to Gallup we are here at Gallup with Linda from first generation homestead and I'll, I'll have to help you get those maybe Polly can run this camera and manage the dog it's run One of the things I love about Timeless Fence is that this little load here in our traverse equated to enough posts to build three and a half acres of fence. If each one of these was a wood post, we would have had 32 wood posts and 120 steel posts if they were steel posts. But because it's timeless, they're super light and super easy to handle. Me and that boy were picking up a whole corner, a complete corner. Think about that for a minute. And they're durable. They're warrantied up to 20 years and will probably last 40 or 50. If you're looking to do a DIY project, do electric fence or high tensile, Timeless is the only way to go. Okay, we got all the Timeless loaded. Got all their hardware. Now we've got to load all of our stuff back in the car. For joy, for joy. Hey folks, 
made it back home. Gotta let this dog out. Untie this. Feels like rain. I believe it's gonna rain. Maybe we can get everything on. Loaded before it rains. Oh. Get old Boo out of his out of his kennel, Uncle Boo. Come on, buddy. There you go. The fence looks like it's up. Everything looks intact. Been gone for a little over a week. These jokers right here. I gotta feed them some grits. Red ants. The thing looks to be good shape. It's it's rained. Hopefully we don't have too many rats' nests. Thing looks good. So made it back home. We are going to rest up for a few days and then it's off to first generation homestead. And we'll be building them some fence, showing them how, working with it, teaching, that sort of thing. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. Kind of a traveling vlog today. Delivery vlog, I guess you could say. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. We just got a whole lot going on. Uh, maybe we can take it, get to some of these projects around here, hopefully. If not, we'll be working on something somewhere, because that's what we do. Sorry I didn't vlog anything from Texas. Um, we rested a lot. We fellowshiped a lot, and there just wasn't a whole lot to really vlog. Got to go wild hog hunting. Didn't see wild hogs. That's why they call it hunting and not finding, I guess. But anyway, remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you down the road.